Hi, this is Trevor Sullivan, a Microsoft MVP for Windows PowerShell and an independent consultant uh, working with the Microsoft Azure Public Cloud Platform and PowerShell Automation. I wanted to take a really quick minute and uh, mention to you something about setting up Office 365 DNS records. When you set up Office 365 for your organization, you'll probably come across an article very similar to this one that talks about setting up a variety of text, MX, CNAME, uh, and SRV records to ensure that uh, your, the Office 365 services are going to work correctly. So if you scroll down to the SRV records, you'll see that there's a few different fields that you need to fill out. There's the record type, which we obviously know is SRV. Uh, there's the, the record name, the target, protocol, service, priority, weight, port, and TTL. Well, some DNS providers will not allow you to configure certain options, uh, specifically the protocol and the service fields may not be available. So I'm using a web host called Arvix, uh, it's A-R-V-I-X-E, and they use the website panel software uh, to manage the environment. So when I went in to create the SRV records for Office 365, unfortunately I did not have the option to uh, specify the protocol and the service separately. So if I came into website panel here and I chose an SRV record, you'll see that the protocol and service fields are simply missing. Now, to make it even a little bit more frustrating than that, the documentation here says that for the name field, if your DNS host doesn't allow setting the name to at, then leave the field blank. So with my particular web host, if you leave that field blank, and try to save it, there's a very small asterisk here that basically indicates that you can't leave it blank, but you also can't set it to an at sign. So uh, what one of the network guys on the Microsoft Azure engineering team told me, uh, and you can also find this on discussion forum, it's out there somewhere, but basically what you do is you combine the service and the protocol together, and that is, and you plug that into the name field. So um, so basically, in the record name, we're not going to put an at sign, we're not going to leave it blank, we're not going to put a period, because that's not supported here either. But what we're going to do is uh, specify the service, underscore SIP, and then put a period after it and specify the protocol. So if we go back to the previous page here, go to Edit DS, DNS Zone Records, you'll see that this is the correct uh, nomenclature to use for your records. So I also looked into the Azure DNS service and the Amazon Web Services Route 53 DNS service, and both of those services are very similar to this interface, where they don't allow you to specify the protocol and the service separately. So in those cases, you'll just want to combine them into the record name, and that's how you create the DNS records for the, the two SRV records that you have to create for Office 365. So I hope this video helps you out. Uh, again, my name is Trevor Sullivan. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter at PCGeek86, and we will see you next time. Cheers.